Greetings from Dystopia, episode 93. I don't want to. You can't make me. But I guess I'll do it anyway. It's a complaint right now. (laughs) Sometimes I think people... They know of your situation or they know of a foible or a tick that you have and they want you to do something you don't want to but you do it anyway I think that's just an accommodation that some of us make far too much including myself so yeah that's my gripe for today (laughs) And it doesn't matter what it is. It's just a general blanket statement. Um, heading over to do some groceries. Grocery shopping. Try and get this run out of the way as early as I can. <laughs> the clouds again today are phenomenal. I will shoot some time lapse. I won't include them in this video. I'll make them their own video as long as the structure holds up the way it is right now once I get back wow traffic is at a dead stop southbound on I-55 and it's really dense here which means it's south of here obviously but anyway when I get back I'm going to offload this video I'm just going to pull the SD card (laughs) throw in another one put this out on the deck looking up and just do a prolonged time lapse although to the north it's much denser cloud wise but yet right above it's just perfect (laughs) yeah I like my clouds Sorry, nothing I can do about it. (laughs) And I laugh. I think I mentioned that before. My daughter is the exact same way. When she was young, young, we would sit out and go, you know, you've all done it. Oh, that one's a dog. That one's a cat. That one, you know. And I see clouds and I see the shapes, but it's that motion in the clouds that shows up when you do a time lapse or when you just sit there very patiently and observe it that's what fascinates the hell out of me so it's Aldi first then Walmart I need to go to Menards but it's probably too close to lunch We'll see. I may have to break these up and hit Aldi today and Menards or in uh, Walmart today, and then hit Menards tomorrow because I'm pushing up at lunchtime right now. So it's not, not probably not the best time to go. A friend commented on Facebook a while back though about me doing my shopping trips and that I should just go in in the morning when the seniors go, when they open only for seniors. Really? (laughs) Not that old, but a lot of the, a lot of my friends like just poking fun at it. Other than that, there's not too much on the agenda today. Um, Like I said, I'll get my, my shopping out of the way first. Which I should have gone out earlier, but once again, I got sucked down that rabbit hole that is Adam Savage One Day Builds. If you're not familiar with the builds, but you know who Adam Savage is from Mythbusters, go on YouTube and search for Tested. That's his channel. I think it's actually called Adam Savage's Tested. But, um, Either way, and just go through and look at some of his one-day builds. There, It may not be nothing I would ever use or nothing that would ever fit in my life or in any of my hobbies, but 
to watch his mental process as he works through building these things. Sometimes he has elaborate sketches where he's been hand sketching it for days or weeks figuring out what he needs. But today was just a spring clamp, a leather worker's I think they're called pony springs, stitch ponies, stitch pony. <clears throat> I call them spring clamps. But um, pedestrian here, I have to stop at this crosswalk. State of Illinois, mandatory to stop at crosswalks. The vast majority of people don't. Anyway, <laughs> this one he took measurements and wrote him down and the rest of it he just roughly sketched and figured out the entire clamping mechanism and everything in his head. His trick to make a concentric cam was, you got to watch a video if you're interested in that kind of stuff, the noodle in that guy, <laughs> but it's decades of experience. You, know, you don't think Adam is that old, but I think he's only a year or two younger than I am. Um, but with far more experience and stuff like that and build and machining. I don't think... Whatever. I think he called himself a machine operator in the episode this morning, not a machinist. And, yeah, it's totally understandable because to me, a machinist is somebody who's been doing it for decades and I'm not talking 10 years or 20 years I'm talking somebody that's done it for 30 or 40 years I'm here to do my shopping <laughs> see you in a bit alright so I dropped off all my stuff put everything away heading over to the old bridge here just to see if I can get some audio in um, just to test that Windscreen, since I forgot the SD card yesterday. I stopped and I was going to fish at the pond by the house, but uh, there's a bunch of people out fishing today. I even saw one family harvesting fish. I don't have a problem harvesting if, if it's done responsibly. I question the common sense of doing it out of a community pond particularly that one, two and a half to three weeks ago, it was treated with copper. So that uh, it's a fungicide, I guess would be the correct term. Gets rid of a lot of, or algicide, gets rid of the algae and stuff. And it stayed that copper green for a good week, week and a half. Um, I don't know that I would want to eat that, that fish. I don't know what the risk of ingesting that much copper is. I did that the other day. Forgot to take it off the seatbelt and let it go and it just shot all the way across. Luckily, the wire's long enough. All right, I'm going to go up here and shoot some audio um, just to test that wind cover and see how well that works. I'll look at it when I get up there. I might come back and grab the camera, shoot some video. See you in a few minutes. <laughs> Wednesday, June 24th, 1240 p.m. It's about 82 degrees. Set up on the east side of the bridge. The microphone is looking out over the river, facing southwest. Do a short recording. This is with the windsock. Just an additional audio note, there is some guys out here in a drift boat fishing right next to the dock, right next to the bridge.
right, we're done. Heading back to the house here slowly. Um, in traffic, not because I'm driving slow. I'll start this editing and then I got to look at the Raspberry Pi project, the time lapse out the window. It went down sometime last night. Um, it's my fault. It's not the fault of the code or the Raspberry Pi. If you remember back to the video, I was talking about making sure that you have enough space on the SD card. I thought I did, but I failed to carry a, let uh, carry a number in adding up the space I needed. Ran it out of space last night and it crashed. So I'm going to go back, put a larger SD in with the OS on it and start over. It's been a quiet day here and it's fine. <clears throat> Again, it's one of those days where I wish there was somewhere where I could just go out, throw up a hammock, sit back and read a book. Sadly, there's nowhere close to do that where it's, you know, enjoyable, peace, and quiet. Um, the preserves here close to home are too busy. They're too close to the roads. I keep debating on heading out to one of the state forests. It'd be a bit of a hike in there, but probably completely worth it decided to go check out this community pond one more time. Family fishing at that spot. There's a guy here. This is open. But it's pretty windy again today. Oh, excuse me. I'll edit that out, hopefully. Um... Yeah, it's a little windy to get out here with a two-way, so I guess I'll have to do that some other time. Damn it. <laughs> Rivers are pretty cloudy. Um, you'll see the photo of a drift boat that just that went by a little while ago while I was shooting a time lapse. They said they hadn't had too much success today, but a few. So it's kind of understanding. Like I said, this weather's. I kind of got everything pushed down, you know. The birds are quieter. <laughs> so, anyway. <laughs> I'll go back, take care of all this stuff, and work on a game plan for tomorrow. Do something a little more exciting. <laughs> I think I mentioned the walk and talk earlier been asked for that I do a couple more of those again. Apparently some of you guys miss just the, I guess the rhythm is what, like my daughter said, there's a certain flow to the walk and talk. So I'll take a look at doing those again. It's going to have to be something that's during the week though, because there's too many people on weekends. All right, let me make this turn here and then... I'll say so long. <laughs> That's it for today. Be good. Be well. We'll see you tomorrow.